Okay, today we are going to be unboxing Warhammer 40k Dark Vengeance. This is the 6th edition starter box, and this is the limited edition one of it. So let's go ahead and open the box up and see what we got in here. Definitely um, better graphic design in the box than the last edition. That one was pretty atrocious. You have the ever so useless, incorrectly marked rulers. You've got your condensed rules. We'll flip through that here in just a minute. You've got, um, let's see, this is a stat card for some of your models here as well as an assembly guide. And there's it's full color. There's some really ni nice pictures on some of them. You have the actual Dark Vengeance rule book, kind of how to play Dark Vengeance. It's got some sample missions in here. We'll flip through that. And you've got your quick reference sheet for hitting and wounding and all that kind of stuff. And your huge assembly guide. As well as all of your sprues, all of your bases, and way underneath here. If you can get underneath here. Alrighty, let's see what we got underneath. You have uh, Blast and Flame templates, same style as last edition. There is a new style of templates, but it doesn't come with this. Here another quick reference sheet. And your dice with the scatter die. So we're going to go ahead and get a closer look at some of these. Okay, back of the box here. You've got some of the models painted up. This is pretty much everything that comes in the box. Painted up really nice. Quick blurb about the missions and that that comes in here. It's, it really is a nice um, setup for the box. It's at least a lot better than Black Reach was. So um, we're going to go ahead and take a look at um, the rulers. As I mentioned before, these things are atrociously useless. The numbers, I haven't checked this edition, but every time in the past, the lines on these haven't marked up with a ruler, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't trust these with anything. Um, as far as your, oh yeah, let's let's measure them and, and see if they're correct this edition, because that would just that would astound me. Okay, so these are supposed to be 18 inches, and as you can clearly see. If I can get this on camera, here's my 18 inch mark. And I'm not sure if you can see their 18 inch mark, but it's, uh, it's about a little bit more than a full quarter inch. It's about, yeah, probably three eighths of an inch off. So that's, it's just, it's wildly inaccurate. It's, it's pretty awful. So don't trust those. I don't know how they don't actually measure something properly. It's a pretty simple concept, but let's take a look at the quick reference sheets here. Um, basically, this just goes through um, what kind of things you get from different cover, what your you know your turn sequence is, your moving, shooting, all of that. You've got what different types of weapons you can fire based on how you moved. You've got uh, special movement distances, so infantry, walkers, bikes, all that, to hit and to wound charts. And they got two of these because, well, let's face it, you have two armies. Um, so two people are going to be playing. And you've got your uh, Dark Angels roster, which has all their stats and some special rules. Granted, these won't be the same as when the codexes come out. And you've got all of the uh, Chaos ones with all the stuff that comes out for uh, with the box, box with this. And on the back is even more quick, quick reference stuff. Vehicle damage table, advanced weapon rules, movement chart, charge moves, deep strike mishap table. See here, so you got a second one of those. Let's move some of these sprues out of the way. There's a lot of sprue in this box. Okay, so assembly guide. Um, like everything, it's nicely 3D rendered, except now they've added these nice light glares. It looks really fancy, even more fancy than last edition's 3D models. So. Everything here is pretty much snapped together, maybe minimal glue just to hold it in for sure. But um, it goes through every single model in here. The things go together pretty nicely from what it looks like. A lot of things are the whole model, then you push like the front of his chest on, like this guy right here. You just push the front of his chest on and give him the arm. So all this stuff's pretty good. It's got a lot of bases on some of them. Bikes now have holes in the bases, thank goodness, so they can push right in there. So that's pretty much it for that. It's actually really thick pages. It's pretty good paper. And um, Cultist, Chaos Hellbrute, which is pretty awesome. 
So there's your assembly guide. It's pretty straightforward. Everything's really easy to assemble. You have your How to Play Dark Vengeance. Some nice fluff, some shiny pages. You have some uh, Welcome to 40K. Let's tell you what this game is. Buy more, buy more models, spend more money. It goes through the armies. It's got some nice fancy shots of terrain and that kind of stuff. It tells you what a shooting phase is. It's it's kind of like a a general overview. It's basically an expanded version of some of the main um, how to play stuff in the regular rulebook. And then there's actually some uh, I believe there are some missions in here. Yeah, so we've got right right here the battle rages on advanced rules. It's got different stuff for that. Let's see. The missions. There we go. So here's a, these are some really cool new missions for it. This one's called Rampage, where there is, uh, the Hellbrute starts in the middle, and I think he's, like, killing all of your own guys, and you got to stop him. So that's a single-player mission. There's some single-player and some two-player missions. And this one's two, the Long uh, and Winding Road. So, and there's, um, then there's the Ambush, which is two-player mission. Psychic Storms, two-player mission. Firefight is two-player. And Hellfire Stone is two-player. Um, so they've got some really cool missions in there that even if you, you know, you already know the game, you can still play those missions to kind of expand upon what comes in the main rulebook for some variety here and there. So that's kind of nice. All right. Now this is just a fancy guide here for specifically the interrogator chaplain, who is the special character, or not special character, but he's the, uh, the, actually he does have a named character. He's Sarah Ficus. I need to work on naming their guys. They, they, they need to, uh, if the Dark Angels need to work on one thing, they need to start naming their children better. Seraphicus, yeah. Seraphicus. You heard it here first. Seraphicus. Um, he's the guy, the model you get as a special guy. He's the, what's the difference between a regular Dark Vengeance and a limited edition Dark Vengeance is you get this cool guy. So they got all his stats on there, his weapons, which he's got, you know, plasma pistol, typical chaplain things. And the assembly guide, like, this is how you put them together. It's pretty simple. And some really cool artwork there. It's about to beat down some chaos. Okay, so finally, condensed rules. For all of you who are familiar with 4th edition and 5th edition, same exact thing. Condensed rules, only this time it's much more color. Meaning there is color. <laughs> so full color condensed rules. Exact same page numbers as the main rule book, which is really easy. And um, it's pretty much the same thing as last time. Whole rules, full color this time. Um, only difference is they take out all the fluff to take out all the extra cool pages of pictures of armies and everything, so it is just the rules. But it's a really nice size. These things are really convenient. So. so let's get ready to move on to all of the sprues that come in here. Okay, these are the bases here. As I said, they've all got either slots in them or they come with the holes pre-drilled so you don't have to cut them out yourself, which is a relief aside from the Hellbrute base, which is still there. Um, new bike base has got these holes in them. And this whole uh, pegs in the bottom of the tires, so you're good in those. Um, let's start right off with the good stuff. This here is the interrogator chaplain. Okay, this is the interrogator chaplain. This is the guy that you get for the limited edition box. As you can see here, he actually has a really cool base. Nice and terrained. He's got his plasma pistol, his crozius. It's fairly cool details. He's got a skull on his shoulder pad. I'm not sure if you can see that. And um, just generally, I mean, they're they're really they're really nicely detailed for being snapped together models. He's got nice ether flame coming out of his jetpack or his backpack rather. And um, there's his head. There you go. So and there's the other side of his crozius. That's that's pretty much that guy there. That's the um, interrogator chaplain. And then you have some more dark angel goodies over here. So a nice big sprue. Okay, so this sprue has on it quite a few things. They really did maximize how much space they can, you know, jam them on. It's got terminators on here. You've got a bike on here. Another random guns on here. I think that are for different units. Um, let's see. Okay, so starting over here. Uh, Terminator guy with sword. Just gonna kind of go through. You can see, kind of guess what some of them are. Lots of arms and stuff for random guys. 
plasma pistol. Um, the sword is for your HQ. Don't remember what he's called. Is he just a company commander or something? Terminator. More backpacks. Pretty cool pose there. There's like a, this thing is jam packed. It's hard to get anything through here. Okay, assault cannon for a Terminator. And uh, let's see, swords. Just the sword and arms for somebody with part of his cloak. It really is spread all over the place. Um, back of a dude. Here we go, there's a head of the Terminator uh, sergeant. It's pretty cool detail in there. You've got your uh, bikes right here. One half and the other. They come with the uh, those birds on them now as opposed to separate pieces. And there's the front of the bikes. The Dark Angel bikes always have really cool front pieces to them. Handlebars with the guy holding it already, so you have to try to line that up. Bolters, all that good stuff. You've got another Terminator here. And then, you know, there's obviously you can tell there's arms and bits plastered everywhere for random stuff. Really nicely posed models. It's not as static as a lot of the Black Reach stuff looked, which is really nice. Guy holding a plasma gun, riding a bike, I believe. Plasma cannon for an infantry model. There's two more um, steering arms for bikes. And I'll flip this over, see what different details we got over here. Um, you got some, actually, this is some pretty cool armor on one of these Terminators. sweet head here too. This will look like it's going to be a lot of the uh, new Dark Angels style. That's pretty much all you got on this side. The rest of it has uh, empty spaces for the next group. Now you got the uh, Dark Angels in the Chaos started sharing some space here and getting awfully friendly. This one is, uh, I think there's two identical sprues to this. This is part Dark Angels and part Cultists. So, on the Dark Angel side, you've got another Terminator walking away, not looking at explosions. You've got yourself two halves of a bike. Um, let's see, some chaosy things. And you've got yourself some of your regular Marines here with all their backpacks and bolters and friends. Other side, you can see Terminator here, same one. I like this new style they're doing. It's kind of like one of the old Mark 1s they saw in Forge World for those. And um, bikes and just backs of Marines, pretty plain. Now you have Cultists, which are these nice little, like, what are they, four or five point models holding, like, auto guns and close combat weapons or something. Auto guns are basically las guns, so for any of you who have played Gene Steeler Colts, they have some really cool poses, some really cool models there. Nice spiky club things. And uh, the back of some cultists. It's a really cool back there. And their, uh, their auto guns all look really sweet, too. Some Chaos backpacks. And you got an actual Chaos guy here. I'm not sure if he's one of the Chosen or not. I'll have to take a look. And here's the front of that Chaos guy. Now next sprue, there is actually two exactly like that, so there's two identical sprues there. And you got your last sprue now, which is the rest of the chaos stuff. So you've got, uh, this is kind of one of the more exciting sprues here. Let's see what you got here as far as there are 
don't believe there's no dark angels on this, so this is a chaos only sprue. You've got some chosen guys kind of walking away. You've got probably one of the coolest backpacks that they will ever make. There's the back of it on there. This is the part that goes against his back. As you can see, everything has like its unique pattern there, like in the middle of that. So make sure when you're clipping these off that you're following the directions so you know specifically which model that goes on, because it will only go on one of them for the most part. Uh, let's see, a lot of backs of things, more chosen guys. Let's see if I can't get a better angle on that one. He's got a pretty sweet staff there. You got some uh, lightning claws. Looks like heavy flamer and uh, heavy stubber for the cultists. Might just be a normal flamer. Um, giant axe of death. There's a cloak for your one of your guys. <laughs> Here are some pretty sweet chosen. Some of your uh, cultists here too. And uh, the back of one over there, so let's uh, take a look at the other side. It's a pretty awesome pose. Let's see, you've got another one up here. And here's the uh, the other side of that backpack. It's a pretty cool backpack there. A pretty awesome sword. This is the yeah, other. They've got some pretty, pretty sweet armor now too. There's the front of one of those cultist leaders. And then you've got the uh, the Hellbrute on here as well. Which here is his back. He's pretty big. He's about the size of a Dreadnought. There's the back of the Hellbrute there. Surprisingly, they've got a large amount on one piece. And they've got a little bit of terrain on his foot there since the base he comes with is, is plain. And then you've got the front of the Hellbrute. He's got a multi melt over here. And he's got a giant kill you lots power fist. And uh, he's got some other random bits that go on him, but that's pretty much it. It's a really complicated sprue, so it's kind of hard to get a really good idea of what you're looking at. But um, we'll do another video here once they're all assembled. And see if we can't get a better look at um, some of the painted pictures of the models here. Okay, so now you can kind of see what some of these models are here that you were looking at in the sprue. You've got this guy here holding the sword. I really don't remember his name, but he is, uh, let's see if it tells us here. That's probably the Dark Angels uh, company master. Either, yeah, the company master. Over here, this is the librarian. You've got your squad, tactical squad there with plasma gun, plasma cannon. And I think the sergeant even has a plasma pistol. Um, yeah, right over here. So you can tell plasma is obviously going to be big in 6th edition, especially in the Dark Angel Codex, if there's rumors of some special rules for their plasma weapons. You've got the uh, Dark Angel Terminators here, the salt cannon, cool looking sergeant there, and their three bikes with, you know, plasma and plasma. Then you've got uh, the cultists over here. Yeah, two groups of ten of them. Like one of them's got the flamer, one's got the uh, heavy stubber. And there's the other group back there. And you've got the chosen along with the chaos lord. Six chosen and a chaos lord. All sorts of different weapons on them. And then you've got your uh, your helper up here. So that's pretty much what comes in the box. Um, and again, yeah, well, as soon as we get all these assembled, we'll, we'll take another look at them and see what some of these models look like in person.